with Tom Kippen, sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And dry conditions prevailed across Upper Michigan today as drier air moved on in with lower humidity, but it did come on some gusty winds. As we look at our local three radar network, we do have dry conditions across Upper Michigan. And as we widen out the view and look at the satellite picture, we can see we do have clear skies. Some rain showers to the north across Lake Superior, maybe getting into the Isle Royal National Park. Otherwise, we are looking at dry conditions for the rest of the night across Upper Michigan. Current temperatures are warm. It is warm outside around 80 or into the 80s, but it is comfortable out there. You can see cooler temperatures though closer to Lake Superior. And when I mean comfortable, look at this. These are the dew points. Usually when I bring this map up, it's because it is humid outside and we have usually dew points anywhere from uncomfortable to very uncomfortable. Today, everybody is on the bottom portion of this 59 or lower, and that means pleasant conditions across the UP humidity wise. Now, as we look at our temperature forecast for tonight, we're going to watch temperatures fall back to around 50 or into the 50s for lows, but for inland areas west of Marquette. We could see low temperatures tonight that could drop into the 40s. Tomorrow with a northerly wind, it is going to be a cool day, especially along Lake Superior. Check out these temperatures. We'll have locally cooler conditions tomorrow afternoon closer to Lake Superior. Otherwise, head inland and head south. Temperatures for highs will be around 70 or into the 70s. And then tomorrow night, check these temperatures out. We're looking for temperatures away from the Great Lakes to drop back into the 40s and in fact some inland areas tomorrow night. Wouldn't be surprised for those areas to drop into to the upper 30s tomorrow night on into Wednesday morning. Here's your fishing on chop marine forecast. Small craft conditions for Copper Harbor. Otherwise, if you have a kayak, not the best night to be out on Lake Superior. We're looking at waves anywhere from one to two feet up to two to four feet in some spots along Lake Superior. Seven day forecast looks like this for tomorrow. Not too bad of an afternoon, but it will be locally cooler near Lake Superior and then a very cool morning on Wednesday morning. In fact, some locations could be in the 30s away from the Great Lakes and then a nice rebound on Wednesday afternoon with temperatures in the 70s to around 80 and lower humidity on Thursday. A little bit warmer. We'll add some humidity into it. Highs on Thursday around 80 or into the 80s and then rain, potentially some gusty winds starting Friday and on into Saturday and temperatures cool it down just a little bit for both Friday and Saturday and then drier weather looks to be in the forecast for the second half of this upcoming weekend. You can always get your latest weather forecast.